Retail inventory method. So this is appropriate for retail concerns. If you have high volume sales and different types of merchandise, if you got right JCPenney, Gap, it's a big store with lots of different uh, different items there. We assume an observable pattern between costs and prices, right? Again, pretty straightforward. So steps here, we determine ending inventory at retail price and convert this amount to a cost basis using a cost to retail ratio. Here is another example, right? More and more examples because other than that, I would just be rattling off words and that wouldn't really help you. Shane Inc's year one information is given. So here's the given information up here. Here's the solution down here. What is Shane Inc's ending inventory at retail and at cost? All of these questions so far have been, okay, what's our value? What's the value of our ending inventory? Fair value measurements. That's, you know, remember what section we're still in here. Well, we were given beginning inventory purchases and sales. So we're kind of still going to be doing a base formula, right? Like relatively speaking here, well, we've got our beginning inventory. This is a B purchases. That's an A. Okay, so B, we're using base formula, A. Wow, these drawings, just beautiful works of art, right? E is what we're trying to find. Or, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get that set, step in a second. So goods available for sale, that is our B and our A together. So I'll put that here, B and A minus sales of 24 that's given right we are using our amounts well we use our cost amount right historical cost so that's why we're using these sales we're only given our you know retail sale amount so that's how we get to our ending inventory at retail um, the cost to retail ratio here this is going to be as a result of basically backing it out right backing out how do we get to our original cost. So this is taking into account our sales at their cost. Now it looks like if we do, okay, two thirds, right? Four divided by six is two thirds. 20 divided by 30 is two thirds. So what we're doing is we're backing into our cost from a retail amount because we were using our sales at our, at our uh, retail amount, but we did not have sales at our cost. And we want everything at cost. We want ending inventory at cost. We want apples to apples. You know, we can't have an orange in here. So this is us backing it out and getting our amount to our final balance here of $8,000. Awesome, awesome.